Oh, 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 you, you. This video recently went viral of a man walking a trail when he was confronted by a mountain lion who follows him for six minutes. Scientists hypothesized that the animal had young kittens close by and wasn't really trying to attack him as these are animals who prefer to like hide and sneak up on you, right? Kind of attack you from behind, you know, and grab your neck. So uh, they don't believe that this animal was trying to do that. This is more of just posturing and just saying, hey, I'm here. I love how this guy handled the situation because you could tell he was kind of panicky, right? But he, he kind of held his ground. And I think that potentially, you know, uh, saved this from being an escalated situation. No. Go away. Oh my God, I had to push him away with my paddle. It's pretty disturbing actually how comfy these alligators are around humans. Like sometimes you see these videos and then sometimes you see these videos and it looks like the gators are like walking up to you like a dog will walk up to you to get petted. But of course the gator doesn't want to be petted, you know, <laughs> to say the least. So some of you might think this gator is peaceful, but like this isn't good. The lady's trying to keep the gator away from her like kayak with the paddle board. And I must say she's doing a pretty good job at that. So here's a Russian bear who pulls up to get some food from this low IQ human who evidently doesn't get that you're not supposed to feed wild dangerous animals as they lose their fear of humans. At one point, the bear even sticks his hand in the window trying to get to the food. Hail to the gnaw, man. I just would not be comfortable feeding Mr. Yogi the bear over here and I'd be out of there. Look at this big strong possum here waiting on me. Just got in from Denver. Just got in from Denver. Look here, look at this baby. Look at him. Listen, I've seen tons of possum videos. Either this is a small woman or this is literally one of the largest possums I have ever seen. I'm going to guess more of the latter. I mean, wow, look at the size of this ugly little critter. Look, I know possums are very important to the environment as they eat ticks and lots of other things that are bad for us. But man, oh man. They are like the Whoopi Goldbergs of the animal kingdom, for real. This one felt very threatened. Threatened enough that it actually plays dead, which they actually don't do very often, contrary to popular belief. They will usually just run if you catch them, or will just throw a fit. They are very capable of inflicting a nasty bite, but they usually don't attack people. Mãe da bichona. Olha aí, ó. Olha o tamanho da criança, meu irmão. This is in Brazil, and I'm not sure, like, how long this anaconda is, but it's huge. And my black butt would not be getting in its way. The majestic serpent is determined to get itself all the way across the road, even at one point climbing over the median. This is way too close to an anaconda for me. But hey, this is still pretty cool to see. Now, me and Sean were uh, playing out of the lagoon between five and four and all that. So this guy's out fishing and caught a nice one. But the gator was like, uh, bruh, no, you ain't gonna take that from me. And guess what? The gator stood by that and literally came up on the land to seal the deal. Jesus Christ. Like, what are these bears doing? Whatever it is, they aren't paying these guys any mind. 
at least not this time. This German Shepherd is apparently just trying to just play with this sheep, but I don't think the sheep got the memo because uh, it doesn't seem like it's in a playful mood. You know that sheep is just thinking like, man, if I can get one good shot on this dog, I can get his butt away from me. Not an easy task as we know how agile German Shepherds are. How much would they have to pay you to go underwater and this close to a wild anaconda? He can go through anything that his, uh, that his beak will fit through. And you watch, he's gonna go right through there. Watch him. <laughs> watch him when he hits the water. He'll turn. Uh, he'll turn. He'll turn bone white. He's so angry right now. Octopus are extremely intelligent, like most of you know. Like you're aware of that already, right? So these dang things are also very good at escaping situations. Some of you remember this video from years ago when this octopus got out of a jar. Well, folks, that ain't nothing. Check out this octopus who somehow ended up on this boat and wants out. Spoiler alert, the octopus got out of the doggone boat. Like with no help and only this tiny, tiny opening. Unbelievable. There's his nose. He's just all the way through it now. Except for, oh, just the top. Just his nose, yeah. Whack off the leg. A man is out kayaking and very nearly becomes a human pot pie for a hungry, angry gator. What animal do I keep telling you is not one to mess with? Perhaps the most ferocious animal in the world, pound for pound, is the honey badger. A python almost sends this one to badger heaven before, with a little help from a jackal of course, the ferocious animal turns the table on the snake. So the king cobra is one of the baddest mofos on this planet. These amazing serpents are the largest venomous snakes in the world and pack a powerful bite. The venom from just one bite is enough to take out 20 people. This very brave fool encounters one and actually goes barehanded and snags the venomous beast. Hail to the hail to the hail to the gnaw. Ui <cười> 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 <laughs> Who knows what this kid did to set these turkeys off, but he did and they are on his butt. Thankfully turkeys are one of the least intelligent of all animals, 
and these damn things probably forgot why they were even chasing him in the first place and eventually they ran away. Let's check it out again. Ever heard of a mountain lion scream? <laughs> yeah, me neither until now. This sounds like something out of a horror movie. A drone flies close to a gator and let's just say that was a mistake. The beast bites it right out of the air. Travel blogger Dev Langer was in the Florida Everglades and thought it would be cool to get a close-up shot of a gator with her new drone. But the hungry gator had other ideas. Oh, Think this food? So oh my god! The alligator, nicknamed George by the stunned tourists, bites right through the drone's battery. Oh, what are you doing, George? Don't eat that! George, no! Well, that meal sure didn't go down right. Look at the smoke billowing from its jaws. Oh Talk about indigestion. <laughs> Look at the smoke coming out the gator's mouth like a dragon. Mr. Gator is going to need a heck of a lot of fiber to push that thing out. Saltwater crocodile country. You can see how crystal clear this water is. And guess what, guys? We were just about to spear a barramundi right here. And then guess what we saw? That's right. Uh, that's about so this guy is out with his woman and somehow spotted this saltwater croc that would have been so easy to miss because of how it blends in with the water and how still it just sits there like wow I mean it's incredible I could just imagine if these two like went for a swim right there not knowing what's going on he talked about it in this video how sneaky crocs are and he is right crazy stuff I would be out of there water you know whether it be a meter deep a meter and a half um, they're there and they're watching um, that there's a massive predator and um, quite easily could kill me. Um, so. People watching the bear stroll up the Cleanlands Dome Trail screamed in terror as a park visitor stared into the jaws of a 300 pound bear. Just a few minutes before photographer Mark Poff took these pictures, a crowd of visitors had put the bear on the move in the nearby parking lot by getting dangerously up close and personal with a Smokies bear. This man is less than 15 feet from a call to 911. Getting as close as 15 feet away from a powerful 300 pound black bear. Like, I don't know why people try to run from an animal that can run 35 miles per hour. Folks, Usain Bolt back in his prime could only run 27 miles an hour. So, uh, these things are fast. You know what? I don't know if he'd have gone the other way or not until I got off that trail. Because it wasn't until the park ranger said, get off the trail and move up, did that bear move move away. So I guess he's, maybe he's as afraid of us as we are of him, I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope so. Tell me about it. <laughs> My guess is that this coyote is not happy with this reflection, and at one point, even kicks the window. Yikes. This is the fierce snake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come here, mate. The most venomous snake in the world. This is one wild unit. This is the snake you don't want to get tagged by because it possesses enough venom to kill. Steve Irwin handles the most venomous snake in the world, the Inland Tapan. In one bite to kill a hundred blokes my size. Look at the coloration. Beautiful coloration. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Settle down, mate. Yo, you wouldn't want to take a whack off a snake this size to share territory, share space with such a beautiful animal. Oh, Steamer, I gotta tell you, I'd rather deal with this snake than a lot of people I know. A kayaker is floating along and evidently shocks an alligator who did not want to stick around for a photo shoot.
Here's an encounter between a croc and a jaguar. So the jaguar is down at the bank here lapping up some dirty H2O. And I think it would be naive for me to say that the jag didn't know a croc was in there. Like, of course it knew. I mean, the only question is, like, where is the croc in the water? An insane video of a coyote that very nearly got this young girl. This is the spirit bear. Most come in black, but about 10% of them are white. A man calls and an alligator eventually answers. There's a baby alligator. <laughs> okay, you just stay right there, mister. Bye. Good girl. A pet skunk does not like this man's stinky feet. My man, you have black. The black shoes is right next to you, bro. Is it my toes? Bro. Well, it sounds like a joke, but this is what really happened when a possum walked into a bar in Brooklyn. That little critter got into Timken's bar in Greenpoint last week, and as other patrons started screaming, Sarah Fulton took charge by saying, quote, hold my phone, I'm from Alaska. She grabbed the possum by the back of the neck and then calmly walked out with it before letting it go on the sidewalk. Yay for Sarah.
Imagine giving a bear a high five. When I saw this shark, I thought it was fake. Do you know what is in here? If you said water, you are wrong. A baby moose practicing its charging. Ooh. A man and his kid Feed a beluga whale. He sort of talks. Do you want to hear him talk? Sure. He's really loud. All right, listening. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay. That's that in? That's, that's, whale talk. that's him saying hello. That's him saying hello. <laughs> Amazing firefighters save a cat from a house fire. Are we going to need another bottle? Yeah, let's uh, want to concentrate oxygen. Okay. You hear me? You hear me, Kenny? Leo. You'll be okay. You'll be getting. You'll be all right. A very young great white shark is saved after washing ashore. Is it worth this danger to take a selfie? A huge sturgeon fish. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back. Ooh. Wow, that is a lot of crocodiles. Ah, uh, boys, no, oi, no fighting at the pub. Calm it down. Right, Baza, oi, look at me. Why are you fighting Davo again? 
He won't buy you a beer. After you're already bought him too. That is disgraceful. You never cheap out on your own. Baza, kick his ass. <sighs> the nerve of some guys. A hippo doing its thing in the water. Never seen a cow act this way. This interesting animal is called a binturong and they are found in Asia. Hi, you are so happy today. Yes, you are. Oh, you're a good girl. Popcorn's been having fun. We are in between shows at a school. We did a few already and now we're waiting for the public to come in tonight. Okay, I was hoping they would wrestle. Cupid, go get her so they can... Ah, uh, you don't want it on video. Okay. Well, popcorn's having fun. Ugh. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I can't turn it off. A mama moose attacking a cyclist for getting too close. One of the top guard dog breeds, the Fila Brasileiro.
A very rare sighting of three mountain lions running down the road. Faith. Ruth. Ruth. George. Billy. Ronnie. Andy. Annie. Belle. Trapper. Piz. Elsie. Sweet. Jim. Lucky. For some reason, this wolf lunged at this man trying to help him and nearly ripped the man's face off. Taglia pure quell'altro pezzo sopra. Gli sei tutta rodolata. Eh, lo so. Aspetta. Ah! No! Carmine B. A road runner with its meal in tow. Dexter, let go of Edie, please. Thank you. No, no, no! What did you do? Why did you do this, Micah? No, 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 no! No. <laughs> did you do? Did you do? Did mom get you? Did mom? Oh! This pup really, really, really wants a cookie. Does that does that mean that you want the cookie? Oh. Hmm. Is that what that means? <laughs> Barking at the cookie? A cat is stuck in a fence and a man courageously saves it even after getting bitten. A daring rescue with a huge wolf in Wisconsin. Do it. Get away. This iguana was not hurt by these dogs. Sorry, twin. <laughs> Three savvy deer protect a fawn from some hungry coyotes.
So who's going after who? Oh, they got the coyote. Yeah, but see that? Oh my God. They're trying to get the, oh, look at this. This is incredible. Is there anything we can do? Maybe drive the cart into the middle of the whole thing. Let's drive the cart up. This is a way too close encounter with a huge grizzly. A humpback whale is saved from some fishermen nets. Both pectoral fins were pinned to the side of its body, and the nylon gill net went all the way up the whale's back, forward of the dorsal fin. We were maneuvering the boat into proper position with a paddle and only had one small knife, but after great effort managed to free one of the pectoral fins. He's got to be able to breathe, too. Oh, no, she's right here. She slowly swam away, but about 500 feet from our boat, she breached high into the air. I cleared all the net from underneath the boat, and we headed off, five tired but exhilarated people with a boatload of nylon netting. Free! Free to live life. Yeah. Yay! We all know sloth bears are very aggressive. These sloth bears, however, are pretty chill. A dog that is very needy. Oh, 
Gotcha! A little kid wants to give a turkey a hug. Fake arms were put on a chicken to see how it would react. Imagine seeing a mountain lion in your living room. A man puts on an alligator suit to see the difference on how a real alligator reacts differently versus a human. That is an 11 foot alligator. I am 5 feet 8 inches. He dwarfs me. If I look like a human, he'd certainly hit the water. A coyote and a bulldog having some playtime. stuck on a power line. Everyone's getting scared by how slow you're moving. Can you do a bit faster? See? Far less scary. Hey! A fox is trapped and suddenly uses its high IQ to get out with some human help. <laughs> what up, dog? Get off the trail, homie. Oh, we officially got our first bear sighting. That's a pretty fella. <laughs> Is that the way you're going? You're going up? Yeah, I'm gonna go around you. Okay. <laughs> A 
Amazing footage of a man saving a dying bird by giving the bird some water. Could you ever see yourself saving a cobra desperately in need of a drink of water? A tortoise gives a friend a hand. A man saved some baby ducklings that fell in a sewer drain. Check out this poor wolf who got his foot trapped on a barbed wire fence. Is that wire right into his foot, right? Yeah. He's got a wrap in it. Oh, fuck that. There you go. Some wild horses get into it. What started as some magpies chilling on a fence ended up in them all getting their necks stuck. On the run. Oh boy, here he comes, here he comes. Barreling down the hill. He sees food. That's a bear. Oh, there's a bear? Yeah. Where is it? Well, he has disappeared. Not, there he is. There's a, there's a bear that's... No. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's right here. See that? Bridge. Yeah, yeah, I see him. I see him. Also, do you see the bear? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, he's running hey, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, it's a, thank you. I've never seen a cow be so happy before. <laughs> he does like it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You like that? I should have had it. Mm -hmm. The show would have come out here with us. Nobody can reach that spot, can they? Ew. What was that? I know, isn't that cute here? Dexter! That's... What? What are you doing? Uh-oh. 
Do you get stuck? Yep. Hi. What are you guys doing? <laughs> there you go, buddy. Don't be scared of me. Good boy. Good kill, buddy. He's all business today. You're all business. Okay, it's yours. It's yours. He's all business. <laughs> A deer miraculously survives an arrow to the face. Like a fish on land.